only on nine tonight. It has been nearly 24 years since a 42 year old father was murdered in Kannapolis. He was described to us as a person who would have said here, you know, take my money. 1999 when William Nelson was killed, but this case remains unsolved. Channel 9's Hannah Getz looks into how detectives are using new technology in the hopes of getting some answers after all this time. It just didn't didn't make a lot of sense. In the early morning hours of July 22nd, 1999, William Thomas Nelson was found shot to death inside his work van at Whitley's car wash on Northridge Avenue in Kannapolis. The news that day shocked friends and neighbors. People, I guess, lose lose respect for other people's life and just don't don't think about you know the families that they're destroying and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it it hurts a lot of people. The 42-year-old father was reportedly cleaning out his Eastway lock and key work van at the car wash after a long day when he was killed. No witnesses around to see what happened. Police believe it could have been a crime of opportunity. It appears that somebody that saw the opportunity, he was by himself at the car wash and, and you know, took it upon themselves to try to take something of his. Investigator Glenn Tingen is the most recent detective to take over the case. With a fresh set of eyes, he's using new technology to test DNA on old evidence. I've been working with um, our crime scene specialist and just kind of bouncing ideas, talking about what's new out there, what can we do. The car wash still stands in the same spot today. Using crime scene photos, Tingen shows us what it would have looked like that night. It was nose up right here. Traveling just a few miles from the car wash to a residential neighborhood, Tingen shows us a second scene. A few days after Nelson's murder, some of his personal items, he won't say which, were found by a neighbor on the side of the road. Uh, the good thing is, is so there was um, a partial uh, fingerprint found on it. That partial print is one of the pieces of evidence detectives are testing with new technology. So it's hard to say if that person that had discarded the item had any personal connection to the area or was passing through, but it definitely you know, kind of opens up the door for further investigation. Getting answers is personal for the Kannapolis Police Department. William Nelson left family behind, including his nephew, who is now a fellow Kannapolis PD detective. It really became something that led me down the road of investigations so I could you know, be a part of providing that closure for others. Just because growing up, I was always able to see the, you know, the holes in the grievance process from that. Investigator Wesley Wilson was just a kid when his uncle was killed, but it's a memory that drives his passion every day and his colleagues recognize that. Well, it adds an extra, um, extra piece to it that you're, you're wanting to try to bring some closure um, for somebody that you have a, a, a personal relationship with. The Kannapolis Police Department is asking anyone with information to contact Cabarrus County Crime Stoppers. We have that information on our website at WSOCTV.com. In Kannapolis, Hannah gets Channel 9 Eyewitness News.